Today, I'm sharing another Kmart hack with you featuring this bamboo ladder. I'll be showing you how to create this simple jute hanging piece and these adorable plant hangers using tea light holders that I also found in Kmart. To start, I painted the ladder white. I used a chalk paint recipe so I could paint without having to sand the ladder back. This is the recipe I used. One cup of white paint, two tablespoons of plaster of Paris, and two tablespoons of water. Mix the plaster of Paris and water together to create a paste and then stir it into the paint. You'll need some little pots for your plant hangers. I'm using these tea light holders I found in Kmart. And lastly, you'll need some jute string. You can buy this from your local Bunnings or hardware store. To make the plant hanger, measure out a piece of string to 120 centimeters. And then you're going to cut out another three pieces of the same length. So you should have four pieces of string in total. Folding all of the strings in half, create a loop and then tie a knot. Find something heavy to hold your string down with. I'm using this big chunk of rose quartz. And then you're going to divide your strings into four groups. You should have two strands of string in each section. Then tie the two strings together for each group, leaving about a 10 centimeter space from the large loop. For the next row, take one string from each of the two groups and tie them together, and then continue this pattern for the next two sections. You should have one loose string left at both ends when you finish. Fold the two loose strings to the middle and then tie them together. Now you're going to repeat the same steps again. You should be creating a diamond netting shape as you go. Once you have finished another row of knots, go ahead and create one more row. You should have four rows of knots in total. Once you have finished that, take all of your strings and tie them into one large knot. You want to leave about the same amount of space that you have between your small knots. Next, just unravel all of the strings and then you're going to trim the bottom to neaten them up. Now you're ready to place your pot into the hanger. So just pulling the edges open, you'll have to squeeze it and kind of shuffle it in a little bit until it fits in perfect. And that's what the finished pot hanger should look like. Moving on to the jute hanging piece, cut a length of string and tie it to the ladder. I made mine about half the width of the ladder. You also want it to hang down a little in the middle. Trim off any excess string. Cut a piece of string measuring 90 centimeters and fold it in half. Place the loop over the tied piece of string and feed the ends of the string through the loop, pulling it tightly. Then you're just going to repeat the exact same thing until your string is full. I used about 34 pieces in total. I use some S hooks to hang my plant hangers, but if you don't have any, you can just tie them with a piece of string. I also added in these little artificial air plants as well because I think they are perfect for these size pods. And just to finish off, I decided to add this vine wrap down one side of the ladder. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please tag me on Instagram if you give it a go. If you'd like to try out more Kmart hacks, I have videos linked in the description box on how to make this jute cushion and this plant stand. Hope you all have a beautiful and creative week. Bye for now.